have a little shower, move on through, didn't amount to too much. Temperature 79 degrees. You can feel that dew point, though, 71. Lots of moisture fueling those thunderstorms a little later tonight. South winds breezy, 17, and it feels like temperature of 82. Here's the storms right now, and they're non severe, but picking up a little bit of wind right now. Belmont to Clarion, and also some heavier rain from Eagle Grove on south. These also marching off to the east and northeast. Some bigger storms earlier this afternoon brought over three inches of rain to parts of Pocahontas County. Our chance here in central Iowa really starts to increase overnight. Should generally be over before sunrise, but then later in the day we could see some more storms. You see the temperature is pretty cool. 9 a.m. tomorrow, 75. 1 p.m. temperature, 79 degrees. Risk for severe storms tonight, especially about the western half of the state. I think the main threat would be some potential damaging winds. Looks to be isolated, but there's a risk out there. And then on Wednesday, I think south Interstate 80 will get some storms later in the day in the evening hour. That also could be severe as they slowly move off to the east. Storms right now, though, you could see them up to the north. We showed you that zoom didn't look on Super Doppler. There has been a little bit of activity trying to fire in southwestern Iowa. It has weakened, but eventually all this will kind of fill on in along a frontal boundary and march across the state. Midwest, biggest storms here, northern Iowa down in through southern Minnesota, and then some scattered storms across Kansas all again along that frontal boundary that's going to drag on through. Problem is tomorrow it will hang up in southern Iowa, and that's why we expect to see more storms fire later in the day on Wednesday. So here's future cast. It looks like it may bring another round of storms through parts of the state that saw some storms earlier today. That moves on through, and then you can see how this all comes together, swings through the metro during the early morning hour. Then we get quiet weather 9 a.m. through most of the early afternoon. Storms start to bubble along Highway 92. They may even move in through the I-80 corridor overnight, and then should be out of here early Thursday morning. Now here's a look at what Futurecast is expecting rainfall. We're going to see some heavy rainfall. It looks like it could be heaviest north tonight and then a couple rounds down south. Now don't expect these exact amounts in your rain gauge, but it looks like the heaviest rain could be north and down towards the Missouri border. Temperatures tonight, 72 thunderstorms here in the metro late, potentially some heavy rainfall. South southwest winds 10 to 15. Dry tomorrow after sunrise through the early afternoon, then storms start to fire from the metro south. Heaviest rain towards the Missouri border, 83 degrees. Little morning activity on Thursday, 80. Cooler Friday, dry 77. It's an active period. It looks like more storms could move in for the weekend. And the latest computer guidance are driving the front down south on Monday and Tuesday. But if that stays to the north, we may have to keep some more rain in the forecast early next week.